Hey guys, today I am going to tell you uh, about developing a phone app application. So there are uh, very basic steps in developing a phone app application. The first one is you need to download the phone app uh, files from the phone app website. Uh, and then you have to set up the project. You can import the ready-made project provided with this video, and uh, or also you can uh, create your own project. I will tell you both of the techniques. Mm, and then you have to develop a simple mobile website. The mobile website uh, can be anyone. It can be a JQM website, JQM, or you can use a responsive website. So any website can run over here, and done. It's so simple. You will get it while I tell you. So let's start. First, we will see how to from where you can download the phone app API. Our first step is to download the PhoneGap API. It is uh, we can download it from PhoneGap.com. I just click the install. Uh, instead of doing all this procedure, we can just directly download the WinArch file over here. This is the old Arch file. We can use it anyway. Okay, the download will take uh, some time, so I'll be back with you in few minutes. So here is the file which we got from, which we downloaded from the phone gap website. Uh, there are various files in it, uh, in the phone gap. So we are developing for Android. There are also files for other operating system over here in. So we will go in Android. There is an example folder available. There is an. It is a ready-made example for it. So you can extract it over here. I have extracted uh, it previously. So inside that example, you will see the basic structure of your simple Android application. So let's start. Uh, so our st second step is setting up a project. You can create a new project, completely new project, if you are an advanced user. But I will tell you a simple process for which you can use for all the application. There is no drawback for this process. So go in your Eclipse ID, or you can use Android Studio. Or any other ID, Android bundle, anything you want, it doesn't matter. So you go new, select project, then Android project from existing code, select it next, then browse to the example folder which we developed, which we uh, which we downloaded from the uh, website. So here is the example folder. Select the example as a root. Click OK. Then select this copy project to workspace. Click finish. So basically the example is imported so the example may be of older version and my SDK is the latest one Android API 4.4 uh, it is API is 19 so I will go right click on the project properties then Android so it is developed for target 2.1 by default so we will change the target to 4.4 or you can use anyone 4.0 or 4.0 one anyone which you want and click OK. So here it will take some time to load. You can see it over here, it is loading. Once it is loaded, you can just clean the project and click OK. Done, the errors are gone. So this is a simple application which you can see in the in which is a phone gap application so we will see how you can so our third step is to develop a simple website now you will see how you can develop it uh, so we start with the developing a simple mobile website for our app uh, they you can download it from anywhere from the internet a sample template or a responsive template for J jquery mobile um, i am using dreamweaver there is a easier way go to file new the in page samples mobile starters select jquery mobile and then create you will get a simple structure a folder with jquery all the javascript files and an index.html file keep the name as it is index.html it is important to keep the name as index.html for your app you can then add multiple files over here but the main page should be index.html so there is a this code this all the code is uh, provided by dreamweaver you can just change whatever you like so we will see how our website looks we will go to preview in firefox 
shorter so on on your mobile you can modify the screen size and you can see depending on the mobile size it will adjust itself on tablet and in mobile so when you click on the first button it will show the page like back button so this will be a simple application which are uh, which we are going to develop so this is the files so the basic structure is these two files important so these are the two files so let's see how we can add these files to our um, project in uh, eclipse so we go to our eclipse there is a assets folder go in that access folder there is a ww folder so inside the ww these are the all the basics file which were provided by the phone gap website it is an example so we will delete we will select everything we will delete it because we don't need it in our website so here click ok everything is deleted here so in this ww we will copy our folder select files files and folder so we copy this go to our eclipse right click and paste so here is our website it is ready and uh, in the src folder just go to this example.java so here it is taking that uh, url from the cordova project but we deleted it so we will remove we will comment this part and we will uncomment the below part so this is the asset index.html file which we copied from in our website asset this is the index file which we are opening in our activity.java folder this is done so our basic android project is with phone gap is developed so we will just right create a we will start a avd you can use any avd i am using a tablet avd doesn't matter which avd you are using as long as you it supports your target minimum sdk version so we will start a we will start with this red virtual machine so here our emulator is ready now uh, so we will right click on our project run as android application and we will wait for it to run So here is our app which we developed uh, using uh, simple JQM. So as this is a tablet emulator, it is it has adjusted it adjusted itself to the surrounding. In mobile, it will display little different. So you can see what down a basic uh, development of a phone gap app. Download the application. And this is the website. So it automatically arranged itself the downward. and you can click black just simple so this is your simple phone gap application using the ready made example and this is the easiest way you can also create everything so using different uh, if you are an, an advanced user then you can create your own different project you just need to add some files like the cordova folder which is uh, required you have to uh, add this from the libraries so there are in the libraries you need to add this cordova file but uh, adding may this may cause some problems like you need to change the build path to configure build path and then you need to change you need to change add the libraries separately over here but if you are using the ready made project you don't need to add it directly and in the resource folder you have to copy this xml this configuration file from the uh lab from the file file which we downloaded in the from here so we downloaded this phone gap 2.9 so we have to find that file uh, over here in the lives android in bin or you can go in the example directly and you can copy this xml folder to your android project folder and it is done if you are an, in if you are an advanced user you can change 
it accordingly but this is the best way for a uh, best and it, it is the easiest way to do it and you can later on change the package name your application name you can rename it you can start this you can use this application as a base for developing your phone gap application and you you don't need to change much uh, in this over here you just need to change the package and the name of the application rest uh, you, all the changes you have to do in your um, website so what anything that you change in your website will directly you know, be changed in your phone gap application and this then you just need to build it and run in your emulator or in any device so this was the easiest way to develop a phone gap application hope you liked it and uh, please share this subscribe to our youtube channel subscribe to our youtube channel youtube.com slash user slash code sorty so this is our youtube channel we just started this new and it is our second video so we will be posting more videos about phone gap and other technologies and uh, the latest news about it so stay tuned thank you for watching